What's up, guys? Welcome back to Pack Squads. It is season two, episode one. Our keeper from season one. You guys just couldn't let me walk. I couldn't pass it. It's 93 overall. Ryan Sandberg is going to be our keeper. I was leaning towards Lou Bob. I'm not going to lie because of the defense and speed in the outfield, but you guys just commented away on that last Pack Squads video. And I think you're right. Sandberg batted 450 and he was destroying the ball on Hall of Fame. He had two multi-homer games. One of those was on All-Star, but in 13 games in total, just ripping the laces off the ball. He's got good hitting stats that will play well in Hall of Fame difficulty. He's going to be our MVP offensively season one. Our Cy Young is going to be Randy Johnson, who we can't even pitch with in game one because his energy is down. The 88 Randy Johnson was 2.43 in the ERA department, just dominating on strikeouts. 33 Ks in 29 innings. Hall of Fame difficulty, people just really, really struggle with that fastball. This Randy is probably going to get figured out soon, but we'll work with him. I like him a lot. And again, face of the franchise packs, the cover athletes packs. I'm expecting to be able to get them again in May, get more of them. I actually have a cover athlete pack that we can use still. We'll be able to upgrade the pitching, the starting rotation faster this season than last season. I wanted to get an absolute gasser at the top of this rotation. Randy's going to be that guy. So to start things off, we're going to rip a 50 bundle, see what the squad's looking like. Hopefully we have another diamond or two to pair with Sandberg in this line up because we're at 700 for game one we're not down at zero no more sweaty season we need some good pulls right now also i do want to note because i got a lot of comments throughout season one telling me to keep the teams here um after season one like keep this see this squad build here that we can go look back and do some comparisons i can put that together if we absolutely ever need to do that i need to sell some of these cards so that i can use those stubs on more packs otherwise this is gonna cost me a lot of money so just being straight up with y'all we're selling some of these cards, and if we get them back, we're going to have to get them back through packs the right way. All right, we got 50 packs and one chase pack to open. That's how we will build the squad. We will be at 59 packs when we are done. Let's get the ripping. Joel, Joe Adele in the first pack. Could you imagine if we're starting this, man? Pack number two. See? All right, Ahmed Rosario. Pack number three. Where are we at? Nothing. Pack number four. Looking for blue, baby. Looking for blue. All bronze. Act number five. I'm expecting at least two diamond pulls in this. Slow start, though. Act number six. Keep them about half dozen in already, and we've got nothing. I need help here. We're about to play a we're about to play a goon. Devin. Act seven. Oh fry. It's actually not a bad bronze. It'll clear common in our pen. Act eight. Come on. Silver, Albert Pujols. Farewell season for Albert. Next, 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 next. Pack number nine. Almost closing in on our first 10. Tristan McKenzie. Pack number 11. Lucky number 11. First blue, no blue. Brad Hand down to a bronze. That guy was a gold like two seconds ago. Next pack. Still nothing. Nico Goodrum in that last one might end up being on our bench. Nothing here. Silver, Patrick Sandoval. There's an upgrade to our rotation. Back into the simulation. Hey, two Julio Rodriguez in the same pack. Wants to be on a team real bad. Moving on. Oh, Mitch Hanniger. There we go. That's a huge ad. Next. Oh, there we go. Our first diamond. Yes, sir. To go with Sandberg and Randy Johnson. I'd love a starter, to be honest. I'd love a starter. JV. Jose! Hey, it's a diamond bat. I can't be mad at a diamond bat, especially playing up to an 88 today. Altuve is going to be on the squad. It's another second baseman, though, because of course it is. Throw him on the bench for now. Hey, packs are heating up. Let's go. This is huge. We need every bit of it. We need every bit of it. One! One right out of the chute. Are you kidding? Let's go. <laughs> oh, man, that is crazy. Two diamonds in the last three packs. We're heating up. Go. Oh. Silver Michael King. That's a nice add to the pull bullpen. Bad for a live series. The Silver Blake Snell. Not a bad add. Got a bunch of silvers in the rotation now. To go with Randy, of course, who I accidentally took out. I know somebody probably noticed that. <laughs> Thank you. 
Silver Adam Angle. I mean, he's got good speed. We got to at least find a spot for him. Um, we can replace Ramos because he's definitely not starting in the end. Anyway, we're down to our final dozen backs here. We have 12 left. Silver Joey Gallo is a good add. He can go on third, which is where we had our final common that remained on the team. 11 more. Not bad. This has been a good bundle so far. We still have a chase pack. If we can manage to sneak out a win in episode one, we'll have another diamond pack at the end. Some more packs to rip. This will be a good episode one for season two. Those of you that are new, maybe you're just finding me. You can go watch season one. It's all in the playlist. I will be changing the color of the thumbnail for season two. You can identify the seasons real easily. Five more packs. Silver Tanner. Not going to do it for me, my man. I need a gold starter is what I need. Pitching staff. Super dry in this pack opening. Two more. Can we call another Josh Hader pull? One time. One time. No. Jordan Hicks would be a good ad. All right, now we get to open one chase pack. Come on, chase pack. Come on, chase pack. No, chase. Well, Muncie, Muncie rakes. Come on. I will say this pitching staff is absolutely atrocious. Mike King is our closer. Randy's our best pitcher. Can't throw him. <laughs> I don't even know who to start in this game. I think I'm going to go Jordan Hicks just because he throws hard. And this is the squad. Altuve is going to be at shortstop in his secondary. Plus 12, plus 12. Righty, righty on the day. Sandberg at second. Max Muncy at third. Albert at first. Hanniger, Gallo, Soto in the outfield with Kybert Ruiz behind the plate. Not going to lie. Pretty good pack opening. Very happy with Juan Soto. Other than that, didn't go very well. We have four secondary positions already. No pitching. Oh, boy. This is going to be an uphill battle. Let's try and steal one in, a win in game one. Here we go, home squad. And, of course, we're facing Randy Johnson. I was hoping we had him on the mound. Instead, we're going to be facing him here. Our opponent, 40 and 18 in ranked. Very good record. I'm going to go out on a limb and say he made World Series easily with that record last season. We got a tough one here in game one. Look at how big the par is on his sinker. <laughs> this is probably going to be a nightmare. One down on two pitches, though. Good swing. He hit that pretty good, but he was on top of it. Timing was good on that. Good pitch, though, just off the plate. Two down for Jordan Hicks. Look at this man's cap. What in the world? What in the world? Dude looked like Voldemort and the kid from Jumanji after he came back out of the game. Okay, just came right after us with three fastballs. <laughs> Soto him. Ah, first pitch swinging with Juan. I got under that two seam. Goes straight up in the air, and he gets there. All right, Sandberg, you're the only one with a decent PCI here. Might need a game out of you, big guy. Sandberg, there's a pack. Our first knock. And now Muncie in there. Man, these PCIs almost look like they're on legend. <laughs> oh, Munce. He's going to keep coming after us with the fastballs. He got away with just spamming them that inning. Got a barrel sum up. We got one hit, one pack. It's nothing, nothing after one. Honestly, I want to be straight up with you guys. Winning this game isn't priority. Just getting a decent enough packs to upgrade the team is the biggest priority. Ice cutter. It's 0-2. Change up. Oh. Miggy went down there and slapped it out the center. Ball almost stopped before it got to Gallo. Now Devers, first pitch swinging. Three, six, three. Let's go. Good cutter. It's one and two right back there. Oh, way too much plate, Jordan. Don't do me like that, big dog. Put it on a T next time. For the change up. He went. That's a heavy swing. Oh, oh, good sinker. Rips it foul. I can't put him away. This is the overall gap right here. We have a 11 pitch at bat, 12 pitch coming. Can't get anything by him. Pulls that one foul. Pitch. Got swing happy. Finally put one in play. Once he makes the play. And it's three up, three down again. Ooh, good two seam. That's a great pitch. This guy's on the black with everything right now. 0-2 on Gallo. A pitch. Good pitch. Oh, no. He is just... Albert? Ooh. Pulled the PCI in too much. Too much move. Oh, oh, oh. This man just throw canceled three times and still got you, my guy. What are we doing? Gonna move Stumont and Paul Fry in the pen. 
Fly ball out to left. Soda will make that play. Two down, real quick here in the third for Jordan Hicks. He's at 30 pitches. Ground ball to short. Altuve will make that play. It's nine up, nine down for Jordan Hicks. We got to get a solo shot. Get this guy nervous. Bad PCI movement on me. I'm thinking too much. Get up there. Ahmed Rosario, our second single. First time through the lineup. Our second pack. No. I was actually looking away finally, but I missed it. That'll bring up Juan Soto here. Lefty, lefty. Turn on something. 91 speed will score from first in a gap. Full oh, front door slur. Good pitch. The head of one. Day and off speed here on Juan. He spammed fastballs lefty lefty. And he got us. Dang it. Good pitch. Right on the corner. This guy's frustrating me here with Randy. He's mixing up his sequences. He spammed every lefty with fastballs until that at bat. Got me out in front. Got out in front. And then dotted. We're through three scoreless. I'm gonna bring Josh Stumont out to pitch. Throws gas. Only has one secondary pitch, though. This is a nerve-wracking inning here. Trout leading it off, hits righties better than lefties as well. Round ball to shortstop. Altuve will make the play again. And up, 10 down. Round ball, Stumont make the play. 11 up, 11 down. Round ball to first. All right, he's got one hit, but immediately hit a double play. We have faced the minimum through four. 12 batters up. 12 outs have been recorded. We need the lead. Come on, man. You're 40 and 18 in ranked. You have this type of team advantage, and you're looking for a friendly guy. You have parallel for Randy Johnson and an all-diamond team. I'm out here pitching with 70 overalls. He's got me really aggressive for the fastball now. First two innings, he was spamming fastball. Now he's spamming off speed. I would say I'm going to make an adjustment, but I feel like as soon as I start looking slurve, I'm going to get heaters again. See? Not a bad swing, though. It's just off the end of the bat. Didn't get the PCI there. Two quick outs in the fourth now for Randy. Just can't seem to guess right. He's got me all over the place. That was actually a really good at bat, but I got swing happy. All right, we're through four, nothing, nothing. Mentally, I'm playing as if I'm down seven. He's got me all tied up, though. Good news is he's struggling, frustrated, and tried to get out of here. So I feel good on the mound. Hope he doesn't luck into one because of the overall gaps. Going to go ahead and bring out, let's do Michael King. Ah, yeah, let's do Michael King. If he goes yard, I just hope he barrels it. No 92 eggs and below homers with how this game's going right now. Whoever wins is better earn it. If it's going to be a 1-0, 2-1 game, it better be earned. That ball's ripped. See, that's a great swing. All over that sinker, he was looking for it, too. Might have a chance. Juan doesn't have a great arm. Oh, -hoo -hoo. Woo. oh two. Two foul balls to start this Devers at bat. It's our big strikeout. He has to go back to second. Does not advance the runner. There's a pack and a big one. Last time up, Jose Ramirez had a 12 pitch at bat. Now he's going to come up with a runner on second and gets a single on the first pitch he sees. At base running. <laughs> How about a double play on that screw up? Yeah, baby. Bang, bang. Tried to draw to throw the second like me, but the ball wasn't hit hard enough or the outfielder was too shallow first and foremost. The runner wasn't moving fast enough. Hello. Again, he gets ahead 0-2 and throws a beautiful put away pitch. That slurve just off the corner. Full hole in. Another pop-up. We've popped up that two-seam every time we drop to it. This is why I kept Randy Johnson. He's so difficult to see on Hall of Fame difficulties. Throwing Ched, the slurve, and the slider both have incredible breaks. Two different angles. And this guy's living on the corner right now. I mean, just that two-seam location alone. Look at that. The guy's making it a living nightmare for me right now. Oh, no. Why were the arrows there? I didn't think it was going to be catchable. Balls hit hard. Sandberg's there to make the play, though. Our two good swings out of him here in the sixth. Michael King on his second inning of work, but only at 10 pitches. 
Randy Johnson gonna come in in the sixth again. We are looking to face the minimum through six. And strike three. Through six, we've some of his three hits of what we face the minimum. There's double plays will get you, man. Dude, he he's throwing that two seam on the black at will, and I just cannot get there. And then he comes inside and dots the corner. This is as puzzled as I've been all year offensively. He's mixing it up so much, and he's Dyson. Man, he's ahead of Juan. It's 0-2 now. Another fastball on the black. There's a base hit for Juan, though. We fire back with a hit. Good slider off that fastball. Singles are not going to cut it, though. Need a big hit. Good take on that slider. We're 2-2 on Sandberg with two down here in the sixth. Good take again. Runner will be off. Tried to dot me and missed. There's a pack on the walk. We got two on, two outs now. Once he hit one well last time up, I just need a base hit. Started the at-bat with a chest-high slider, and I just did not see that fastball out of the hand well. Still frustrated. Still in this game, though. Going to go to Pedro Baez. Now, well, yeah, let's do Pedro Baez. Whew, that was the first time I really, like, challenged him with a fastball the whole game. One down. Give me that pack. Oh, checked up. It's 2-2. The pitch. Got him! Another pack from Pedro Baez. And now his cap steps in. 0 for 2 on the ball game. Change up. Oh, he just got a piece. The change up. Great take again. It's three and two. Miggy on deck. Oh, I thought we dotted him. He just missed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, here comes Miggy, who's two for two in this game. The front door slider. He fouls it back. The change up. Got him out in front again. It's two, two. Not. Pack. We have three at bats. We only have three hits. He only has three hits. Mitch rips it out to center, but he's going to line out. Two seam ran away just enough to miss the barrel. Brings up Gallo, who's 0 for 2. Ball came off the bat at 95. Could have used a leadoff knock. This may come down to just whoever hits a solo shot by the end of the game. Joey Gallo the other way. Perfect. Perfect. That'll be a double with one down. Now I really wish we had that leadoff knock. I don't move the runner up. A wild pitch will advance us to third. We're 90 feet away. No a shot. I just did that. Ah. No, no. That's twice this inning. I seen it so well, but the two seam run got just off the barrel. That dang two seam the whole game. Man, just enough movement. We'll bring up Devers where I'm going to go lefty. We'll also warm up Tomlin. Fly ball to center. One out in the eighth. Three, two. He just fouled off a three, one changeup. Go to the slider. Popped it up. Pool holes make a squeeze. Got him. Nasty slider strikes out David Justice for a pack. We are just pitching out of this world with these dudes. Can we score one? I'll even take a lucky homer. Julio Rodriguez, come on out. Man, I got, I, it's hard not to swing at that pitch because he's putting it on the black so often. The bloop and a blast from the top of the order. Altuve, b -b 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 barreled. Oh, it hits the very top of the wall. It'll be a one out double again. <laughs> Got me to chase the slur, but when I tell you we smoked that ball, oh man. Sandberg coming to our MVP, coming in with two outs and a runner on third. That ball was hit 102. Oh my gosh. Oh, that two seems driving me nuts. Ran away. We're 0 2. Sandberg! Perfect, perfect! Off the top of the wall again! Let's go, Sandberg! MVP! Oh, man. I, honestly, I thought for sure we were getting a first pitch fastball there. The first two innings of this game, he spammed fastball up and into the lefties over and over and over and over again. I haven't seen it since the third. Why am I still sitting on it? <laughs> All right, we're going to warm up Brad Hand. Josh Tomlin's going to come out to pitch, and that makes me very nervous.
Seeger ties it on a solo shot in the top of the ninth. Try to jam him with the cutter. We threw it right out over the plate. Uh, at least we have the hammer in the bottom half. Unreal. Hit a mound visit here. We'll also, I might mess around and warm up Randy, dog, because he won't touch him. Nice, Muncy makes the play. Let's just get to the bottom half. I will throw Randy in extras. Gallo, get there. Trout lines out to center. Two down. I'm gonna hit another. I'm gonna hit a double mound visit here, and I'm gonna bring Patrick Sandoval out. Hits lefty, hit lefty on Harper. Okay, we are two two. Way out in front of that slider. Go last pits here. Try and get him over a twelve six. Rounds it to first. Pujols makes the play. Steps on first. He homers with Seager first at bat. Oh, we held it down the whole game. Took the lead and immediately gave it back up. Because that's what we do here. Dustin, kind of forgot Mo had a slider, not going to lie. Oh, he had that perfect, perfect double last time up. Immediately barrels a sinker here. Looking good going the other way, Joey. Bullhole's going to step in now. That's unfortunate. I'm waiting to see the exit v on. I know it 100 miles an hour again. We've had some great swings here the last two innings. Now Pujols back up the middle for a base hit. Extends the inning. There's another pack. No. Good cut. Good cut. All right, we'll go to extras. We will have a pinch hitter in the top of the order in the 10th. He's going to have his created player leading off. What have we done? And just like that, I'm bringing out Randy because I can. Round ball to third. One pitch. One out, runner does not advance. Now, Miguel Cabrera is going to come up. I'm going to walk him, set up the double play, go lefty-lefty on Devers. Castellanos off the bench. No shot. Good swing. Ah, Good swing. Castellanos gets us off the bench. I wanted that change up way deeper. We've got to keep this at one. Desperately. God. There's another pack. We can get out of here down by just one. We'll have that tying run at second. One swing can win the game, but instead we're going to just float a fast. I'm so mad at myself right now. I should have just shut my mouth and commentated after I threw the pitch. I missed right out over the plate. Ah, game rewarded him too. He swung really late. We are down three. We were on top of the world when Sandberg hit that ball. Baseball's a game of inches, man. We hit the top of the wall twice. Couple loud outs there in the seventh and the eighth. We scored one, but it wasn't enough. We didn't capitalize enough. He jumped on a ball, and now look at us. Down three and extras after being up in the ninth. Rough, rough couple innings there. Got one of the, go to third, go to third. Hit that ball hard right at Nick Castellanos, though. One down here, bottom 10. I need a bloop and a blast. Altuve doubled last time up. He hit the top of the wall. Altuve out to right. <sighs> here comes Juan. That would have been two on, one out. Juan would have been the tying run against a righty. Danberg on deck. Perfect, perfect last time up. It was ball four. I got aggressive. Juan! Of course he homers after we barrel up and out. Of course he homers after we line out. It's 4-3 now. Sandberg, come on, big dog. Hit the top of the wall last time. Keep us alive. No, oh, he broke my back. Good pitch. I was all over it. You got to be early. Dang it. Ah, oh, that's a tough loss. GG's, man. That was a really fun game. It was, an it was an intense game. I beat him with a better team, though. No doubt about it. And now we can't use Randy in the next game either. And we lost. I was, I was really going. I was really doing that to try and secure a diamond. And it blew up in our face. Not good. We had one homer, three doubles, four singles. That's 14 packs on total bases. We scored three runs. Puts us at 17. One homer gives us 18. We also had a walk. Puts us at 19. We struck out six batters. Gives us 25. And that's it. 25 packs. Oh, man. I, when he, once he sent the friendly quit, I really wanted to win that game, and I thought we had him.
We had them. That's going to bump us out of Division Series. So next game is going to be on All-Star. We got to capitalize and go crazy. Unless we get matched up with someone in Division Series, then of course we will be back on Hall of Fame again. Sandberg goes parallel too. There's five more packs. Gives us 30. Getting all of our reward packs for this season. Since we start the season at 700, we get all of these reward packs right out of the gate. We will open those right now along with the 30 packs. Starting with the Spring Training Pack. Pack number one, CJ Abrams. Pack number two. Willie Adamas, he's going to go on. Definitely got to upgrade the bench. The bench was one of the things that really hurt us in this game. We didn't do anything off the bench. Christian Yelich, the very solid add to our bench. Take that all day long. Pennant race pack. Um, we have a choice pack for the pennant race. That's not going to have anything in it. Open that choice pack. Wild card pack. Jose Abreu. All right. Uh, now that pennant race choice pack. Who are we going to take out of here? Probably take Troy Percival. Then again, I mean, Richie Ashburn's going to have a huge PCI. Might slap a couple singles around for us. Keep the lineup moving. Play some deep in that decent outfield. 78 speed, 75 fielding. 86, Troy Percival, just because we need arms on the team. All right, here's what we're going to do. I'm comfortable that if we play on All-Star, we're going to get plenty of packs in the next game, no matter what our team is. We'll play on All-Star regardless. So instead of opening all 30 standard packs and trying to get as many players as I can, I'm going to trade in 25 for this set 10 choice pack. Hopefully we can get Gary Sanchez or Gary Sheffield. I mean, that would be an unreal add to our team. And then we will also open five of the set 10 headliner packs. Those only guarantee a silver player. And that'll be our 30. So let's open the choice pack first. See how that goes. This is 25 deep and now our player round. <laughs> it stings so much. It stings so much. I'm going to take Jared Walsh. At the very least, he'll be a righty killer for us offensively. He's always got that inside edge against righties. Now we have five of the set 10 headliners. Well, maybe we can get Gary Sheffield out of one of these. Did get a gold Blake Trine in. There's a huge add to our bullpen. Next headliner pack. Headliner pack number two. Show me some blue gold. See, hey, Strasburg was meant to be on the team. Throw him in over Jordan Hicks, who's probably never going to pitch for us. Pitch well, but his energy is going to be down by the time he comes back around. Could have the whole rotation replaced. Three more of these headliner packs. Ryan McMahon and Christian Velasquez. McMahon? We can throw McMahon on. Dario. Two more of these headliners. Silver Seth Lugo. Meh. And last but not least. Old Lourdes Gurriel. That's nice. We've desperately got to figure out a center fielder. We still are going to have four secondary positions going into the next episode. I am going to play Willie Adamas at third and get Muncie over at first base. We'll use Jared Walsh off the bench as a righty specialist. Jose Abreu can kind of do it all. Matter of fact, man, Jose Abreu might be going in over Muncie. That man's inside edge righty righty is typically up. He's a goon. I'm gonna try Jose in the next game, which means I'm gonna put Muncie back on third to get that extra lefty in the lineup. Disregard pretty much everything I just said. This is most likely what the team going to look like in that next episode. Let's just hope we can get some more, uh, some more hits with runners on, because that was really the thing. We scratch and clawed in this game. We had a couple singles first time through the lineup. We had some cup, a couple extra base hits second time through the lineup. We had a walk. Just never got that big hit with a runner on until the eighth inning. But then, of course, we gave it right. GG's. Fun game. I mean, it was an intense game. Not like my energy was super high. I was locked in trying to steal that one for sure. I was super comp mode on that one. I was being a sweaty tryhard. It is what it is. We lost that one. We had the lead in the ninth, though, so it stings. We're going to bounce back hard. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.